Hi everybody. Morning. Hi. Mark McGowan dropped by today to play Dream Team yep. against Sean. He yep. brought an entire security team as per usual. Mm. Um, uh, so we talk about security check-ins yeah, we and do. what can go wrong in those. Because a lot can go wrong as yeah. it turns out. Yeah, we also have a chat about uh, what are you itching to get rid of? Yeah, yeah. that belongs to a loved one. Yep. Yeah. And also um, magazines. Who still reads them? <laughs> This is Nathan, Matt and Sean. Oh, we know that um, security has just gotten insane. Yeah. Uh, I mean, know. it's important. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm. It, it is. is. Mm. The security check-ins you have to go through yeah. um, at the airport. It's so annoying, isn't it? Oh, I took a flight the I, other day that was one like, domestic mm. flight, but it was an international flight. The number of things, security po- checkpoints you had to go it's through. Insane. And every time you had to show them your ID, and you know, I kept putting it away, and then yeah. you'd pull it, have, uh, we need to see it. Literally, that guy that you can see just checked my ID. Yep. Yeah, I don't get that either. Now. Oh, it was extraordinary. Yeah, the other thing is the people who are checking your yeah, um, bags for bombs and stuff, and I always find that pretty oh, interesting. Yeah, that, cause, they, they always I mean, ask what me. I, got in my bag? I mean, yeah. my bag smells like onions. I mean, yes. that's about yeah. it. The thing that always puzzles me as well is that you have to take your hat off. <laughs> because, yeah. I mean, like, what? You know what I mean? And your belt. Yeah, but like, no, no, a belt, I understand, because it's a metal metal on on there. Yeah. But your hat, and some people, they tell them to take a jacket off, but yeah, you're going through an x-ray scanner, Mm. and you're not making me take my pants off. Mm. Anyway, it's very confusing. Of course I am. Mm. Um, There's a guy called James from the UK who was recently at Heathrow Airport, and uh, he was lining up at the security area of the bag check area, Mm -hmm. right? And uh, he had taken his hat off, so he wanted to check and see if his hair was okay, so he got his camera phone out. Just having a look, and then this woman screams at him from across the way. Yeah. Put your phone down, you can't take photos here, which you can't in those areas. Okay. And he was, yeah, but yeah. he wasn't. He, he was wasn't. just using it as a mirror. So then, mm. you know, he's gone through um, the uh, the the x ray machine, his bags have gone through, and then he's got collected his bag at the other end, and then suddenly they've kept his stuff, and all these other people going through, and then they started going through all of his things, and then he explained to them, I'm really sorry, I wasn't taking a photo, I was just yes. checking my hair. <laughs> and then the security guy goes, well, sorry, mate, you've been flagged, so I'm going to have to go yeah, through. Yeah, right, I get it. Your phone. I'm going to have to see if the photo to prove is on that there. you haven't oh, taken yeah, a photo. So yeah, then he grabs yeah. the guy's phone, and then yes. he's going through there, and he couldn't find the photo. Um, and then because there was no photo, unfortunately, um, it, it took a turn for the worse. He's like, I'm going to have to look at your recently deleted pictures too, and I'm like, oh. Sh- do I open up my recently deleted pictures and what is there staring at this guy in the face but the gammiest pic I've ever seen in my life that my friend sent me the day before which I deleted because it was repulsive and the guy at security looks at the pic looks at me and just goes Enjoy your holiday. On your way. <laughs> on your way. It's not good. Yeah, yeah. It's not good. It actually sounds like my phone because that, that, that would happen to me. And I don't delete it. Hey, Sean, can we get your phone? Can we have a look at your recently del- deleted? <laughs> I think I've ever. I, I, I was aware I was even a deleted. No, let's all open our recently deleted. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I don't, I don't delete oh my Where do you, oh my how do you get to it? <laughs> I do think I've got a few no, good ones in a row. I'm just I'm fine. Here we go. My... Recently deleted. Here I go. Wait, how do you oh, get, sure. How do you I've got several pictures of your wife. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Um, we were out for dinner. Megan told me to take some photos of her and she wasn't happy with any of them, so she made me delete them. <laughs> so I've got photos of your wife. Um, I've got a, a receipt for some glasses I got dad. I've got an article about a $700 sex toy theft that we used on air. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course it yep. was on air. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a, like a whole lot of accidental screenshots are I've you, taken of my wallpaper. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just trying to find a good one. I'm just trying to, this is all my kids at the start, but I, nah, these were, um, one of my mates has been finding old articles. Harry's there find. deleting <laughs> it. Ah, Harry, Harry has quietly been sitting there. Furiously. <laughs> furiously deleting things. <laughs> He's one of a dead rat that my cat left on my lounge room rug. Harry, what are you? No, nothing to report on (laughs) here. (laughs) (laughs) All I saw was Harry sitting there quietly, and I've never seen his fingers move faster. (laughs) (laughs) 
Um, well, uh, security check-ins, yes. they can be problematic, especially nowadays because they're so full on. Yeah, and, they are. and you can be very innocent yep. at that security checkpoint and yet yep. still get yourself into trouble so like that guy. Da- I ended up sending Dad on a little holiday by himself over to Bali, right, um, years ago. And remember, he was speaking to us every day from yeah. Bali. Yeah, yeah that's right. Giving Bali us reports. And, regular um, updates on the bargains he'd bought. <laughs> back then, I was into collecting robots. <laughs> I was an adult. Um, <laughs> and then Dad had found all these really cool, um, you know, uh, battery-operated robot toys. Danger, Will mm-hmm. Robinson. Yes. Danger. No, it Will was Robinson. danger. Danger. Then, because Dad was travelling by himself carrying a whole lot of toy robots, he was flagged by security and they pulled him in and Dad said he's mm. never been questioned so hard in his mm. life. And then they end up asking to look through his phone as well. Yeah. well and it just so happened there was a photo of me with Dad in the phone. They said, oh, that's Nathan from Nova. And then Dad's Dad never has declared that he is my father quicker. <laughs> <laughs> because he was no, pretty sure a great shame, the next but... thing coming was a rubber glove. <laughs> <laughs> he was hoping. And that is Danger Will Robinson. <laughs> with the Bali thing too, once I got um, nailed coming into Bali, and uh, this is... I was shaking like a leaf. I remember this. I didn't know what was going to happen because so before I left, um, Megan and, and the kids went the day before. Yeah. Um, the Thursday and we were finishing on the Friday anyway. So I, when I rolled in, Megan said, oh, do, do us a favour and bring us a bottle of champagne over, which I did. But then she sent me a message said, can you bring over two litres of, um, you get this cooler bar, small, cooler bar, small cast. So yeah. goon bag. Goon bags. Yeah, yeah. And um, that's way o- that's over the limit. So I chucked it in my surfboard, which, I mean, what could go oh wrong there? Oh, dear God. I know. He, he's pulled a Chappelle Corby. Have you never read the news? <laughs> <laughs> so when I came through security, they pulled me aside. I'm of course going, they oh, did. Here we go. And I'd take you into this room and undo my surfboard. And then <laughs> there's two goon bags. Of wine. <laughs> So what happened? Well, I tried to explain that this. I bought it over. How much, did you, I, I, how much did you have to pay? Uh, it was like 50 bucks. For it to go away. Yeah, yeah right. 50 bucks. Sure. Expensive goon bags. Sure. <laughs> Ready to put your pool floaties to work? Start planning the ultimate summer getaway with whatif.com. Find hotels and holiday rentals plus family-friendly resorts. Just jump on the What If app. What If? It's Aussie for travel. We're discussing things that can go wrong at a security checkpoint. We know that the security people are doing a great job. Oh, they are. They yeah, are. They are. They're, they're working very safe, hard keeping, keeping us safe. safe, keeping it safe. But it, sometimes you're quite innocent, but it doesn't come across yes. that way to them. Hello, Kim. Hey, Kim. Guys. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. All right, you've got an airport story for us, do you? I do, I do. Hubby and I were uh, leaving the kids back in Adelaide with the grandparents and decided to go to Phuket for a bit of a naughty weekend away. Yes. yes. And Hubby goes, you just have all this stuff in your bag. And we went to the checkpoint and they pulled me over and they said, open your bag. Oh. So I opened the bag Kim, and no. the stuff come out. And they're going, what's this, what's this? And I'm saying, just for fun, just for fun. And they're saying, no, no fun, no fun. No fun, <laughs> no fun, no fun so he goes, Kim. Did you say speak for yourself, so Kim? I was like, they were like, where's the keys? I said, no keys, no keys. And in the meantime, my husband is going, oh, my gosh, the locked up and thrown away over the Fluffy handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, the handcuffs. Oh, every Kim, time. I like how you told us about the fluffy handcuffs. Yeah, yeah. what else? The did you other have things they picked up, they couldn't even conceive where they went. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap for young players. Kim, it is. The handcuffs. It is. Yeah, mm. just buy them when you get there. Yeah, um, good idea, <laughs> thanks, Kim. Alicia, hello. Hello. How are you, uh, Alicia. Alicia? Alicia, what happened? Um, okay, this was a long time ago. It was shortly after the London bombing. Um, and I was living in London, and I'd gotten a cheap flight to New York, but I had to go via Charlotte in Car- some one of the Carolinas, yeah, I can't yeah. remember. <laughs> anyway, but it wasn't even one where your bag goes all the way through. I had to get my bag off and, like, recheck. So anyway, I get off at Charlotte, and I'm waiting, and everyone else's bags come out, and I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and then mine come out, like, 15 minutes after everybody else's. And then so as soon as I start to walk towards the bag, I'm immediately surrounded by all these U.S. Marshals. <laughs> yes. yes. And um, and they're like, and I was travelling with my partner at the time, and her bag had come out ages ago too. Yeah. And they're like, "Ma'am, is it, ma'am, is this your bag?" And I'm like, "Well, yes, this is my bag." And they're like, "You're gonna have to come with us." And I said, "Why?" And they're like, "The dogs have alerted us to your bag." Ooh. And then I, to this, I just laughed and I said, "Oh yeah." I said, "My dog literally peed on my bag just as it was. We were waiting for the taxi." <laughs> <laughs> and then they're all. Stern-faced, and they look at me and they're like, "Man, these are trained dogs." And I'm like, "Yeah, but they're still dogs." 
<laughs> you know, yeah, 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 that's right. smell that is, and then like you're gonna have to come with us. And so they made me. They took me to this little room, you know, like single light bulb hanging from the ceiling, yeah. whole whole deal. Put your bag up on the thing. Unpack every single last piece of luggage I had. Some we had some um, <laughs> some uh, devices that we packed to entertain us during the trip. Oh, you guys too. Um, devices like yes. not iPads. We're, we're yes, they, not, can you imagine? Not, not I iPad. Across things, um, more of an iPad. They, they took everything out, and then they they kept saying to me, "Just tell us what's in the bag." I'm like, and in my head, I'm like, "Shit, what's in the bag?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah. "What have I forgotten?" I'm like, "There's nothing in my bag," and they're like, "It'll be easier for everyone if you just tell us what's in the bag." <laughs> so they oh. they cut the whole lining <gasps> out. It was just one of those backpacks, like twenty liter backpacks. They cut the lining out, oh. and then when they found nothing. They were genuinely so disappointed because they were really yeah, hyped yes. up, like thinking that they'd made some big fuss. Yeah, because they're expertly then, trained dogs. That's yep. what they. Yeah, that's what they that's do. It. And they're like, and I said, I kept t- telling them that my dog, and they're like, they just didn't believe me or whatever. And yes. then they, I missed my connecting flight, and then they gave me a thirty dollar voucher for a new bag. And I don't know if anyone's <laughs> ever tried to spend thirty dollars at the airport. And I might have gotten a burger and a beer. Yeah, <laughs> a burger <laughs> and a beer. That's rich. Could have been a magazine in the water. Yeah. <laughs> so then they are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's it, or what? So they gave me a like a, a trash bag to put my stuff in, and then I had to get another flight to New York. Oh, How disappointing for them. Cost. Here they yeah. thought they were going to have the lead story mm. on border yes, security, that's right. but all they did was find a urine soaked bag full of sex toys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just throw it out there? Are we the only ones who don't travel with sex yeah. toys? <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be. I We're know. in the minority. Never. Do people travel Clearly. with these things? Clearly. They do you do. need to bring an international charger, or is it just all by USB these days? Or is it batteries? Is it lithium? Of course, so many questions. <laughs> or is it double A or double D? <laughs> <laughs> the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Straight into cricket to uh, oh. um, kick things off. And Aaron Finch, I mean, he is just the saviour of Australian cricket team. Hit 79 last night. Sean, ever since you've called for his head, have you noticed how... He hits, a lot he hits one them. good innings yeah. in six or seven. Yeah. Is that good enough? No. I know. No. But I feel the same way about Glenn Maxwell. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Like he's yeah, so good I when he's do. on, but when he's but so often he's not. It's like yep. you, you run that risk of him failing to every now and then have him like hit 100. Look, it's yeah. not the most interesting sport. The least you could do when you're playing is score. <laughs> <laughs> but literally I agree the with least that. You could do. A lot of people are bagging out the Australian <laughs> team because they've lost their last four or something, four in a row. But I mean, it, it's it's warm up games. They're playing players all over the place. Like yeah. Mitch Marsh opened yesterday, and he's yes. not going to he's not going to stay there. Other guys. It's are very much a pre season match time. that you can't put a lot of stock in. Well, yeah. you don't want to give the opposition too no, much look. Keep either. your powder dry. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So we'll wait and see how that turns out. Um, last night. Um, Sam Kerr, West Aussie, came third in the world's best soccer player in the women's side no, of she's things. So Wait, they're third third in women's. Yeah, I thought she was the best in women's. Oh, she's the best. Well, most we marketable. Say, we, we, we say because she's Australian, so we put her in that like, thing. But the girls who beat her are, are like, but she's, she's talking like, unbelievable stuff. But, here. but she made like the cover of that video game, and her girls never yeah, been on the cover. Of like, yeah. like, she's done yeah. so many historical things, and she's been the face of it for yeah. for you know. Yep. I think that's because she's it. had such a consistent career over yeah, a long wow. time as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so she came third. Um, uh, Benzema was the name of the guy who won it. He's from Real Madrid. He had a massive year on the men's side of things, yep. which normally it was always uh, um, oh, Ronaldo. Sure. God, I can't believe it. that was the sticking point, who's cleaning up all the, all the time. And um, he absolutely dominated those awards. Moving over to football just quickly, and Ross Lyon mm. uh, is back at the helm. At, he's going to be back at the helm at St Kilda. I can't see anyone it? else uh, getting that gig. In, in fact, yesterday they were talking about him or trying to talk to him about how he saw the position. I just had a, a meeting inside then, so it's a big step, isn't it? Have they offered you the job, Ross? I would, no, we just had an initial discussion. And have you got, it's fair to say you've got initial interest? Yeah, otherwise it wouldn't come and meet, you know. But look, it's a delicate time, you know, for everybody. So it's not easy coaching an AFL club. I love, the <laughs> thing I love about so Ross funny. is how he's so dismissive of every I know. question that anybody asks him. And my favourite thing in the way he, went, walked, he walked right into our hearts is the first time we spoke to him and then mm. he goes, hi, Sean. And then we went, hi, Ross. And then he goes, oh, Nathan and Nat, is it? <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, Ross. Yes. That was my favourite. I know ever. he's so funny. Like the driest sense of humour I think yeah. I've ever encountered. Yeah, he's a super funny guy. Um, when you work for him, he's not super funny all the time yeah. because he is taking it to people mm. with a stick. It's amazing that he's still so in your face to the media like that, though. Considering he has been working in the media, like you thought, I thought that that might have softened him towards the media. But like to go, yeah, otherwise I wouldn't come to the meeting, would I? Like, it's just, I know, I know. They have to he, ask. He these like questions. Those, he doesn't like those questions. No, he doesn't. It, it seems like he's home and host for this job. Mm. He's got all the backing of the former St Kilda champions who are right behind him to take this club. Would anyone else want it? Because they've got a pretty sh- shoddy list, haven't they? Uh, it's an old list now, yeah, actually. They yeah. haven't done a lot of refurbishment along yeah. the journey, so, which is going to cost them. Will they be coming with a killer offer for Ross to get him on board? God, Nath. Or, I don't think they where, have where, to. Where would he be at the moment? I would think in AFL coaching... T- um, circles. It, it's over half a million dollars to coach a team, okay. but there'd be a lot of incentives, yes. I, I think, built into built it. Into that, yeah. And he's capable of turning that team around to make the finals no, next year. Yep. I've got no doubt about that. And taking the next step after that, I, I also don't have any doubt about it. The people who are working for him, because he burns you, because yep. he's he's really going hard when he's yeah, coaching right. an AFL So he burns team. you out. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So we'll see how that plays out. And the last thing was Jesse Wagstaff getting suspended oh, by no. um, I can't the, um, for in the NBL. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he set a screen in the game. That wasn't even called Friday a foul night. at the time. No, yeah. and, I, and I see why. And you can see it in slow motion. It was a bit of a... A little bit of a bend it's, or but, a, a, a duck into his which shoulder. Which is what anybody would do if you're bracing of for course, the impact. Of course. If you're yeah. bracing for him, but I was watching. I was like, well, that, that's he didn't lift his elbow. What he didn't, like, go and clothesline the guy. No, or, no. He didn't. And it's like unfortunate that. That, that guy was concussed, but it wasn't Jesse's fault. So this is the case of where the outcome Yeah, d- is determining determines. the, the offence. Yeah, yeah that's and right. I don't think that should be the case. No, of course Because we not. are playing a contact sport in most cases, and if that happens, that happens. Sometimes and you just got to wear it. We all remember when Josh Childress elbowed Jesse in the head. Like in a deliberate act, elbowed yep. him in the in the head, and he got the same penalty. So this guy like, on the other how, end of that, that screen that wasn't. Like, he was concussed. He was concussed. He was, yeah, but like yeah. like bad, 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 bad. Well, or, he took no further oh, part he, in, he the didn't play in the game. So yeah, that's, that's a, you know a concussion. They, they don't like it oh, in any sport. So I'll put your head in the normal spot. <laughs> don't put your head in Jesse's shoulder. They have it's quite short that guy, and that's short. kind of part. Well, then should don't play basketball. That's right. It's a tall man sport. It'd be like one of those rides at the amusement park. You have to be this right. This side of this side of play. By quite short, I mean he's probably about Sean's height. Yeah, absolutely. By basketball team, he's got till tomorrow to be able to take. Surely. You got to feel We're taking Wildcats. that to the highest court in the yeah, land. That's outrageous. Time. Nathan, Dad and Sean. King Charles. Yep. Yes. Is going to sell all of the Queen's horses. And all of the <laughs> Queen's men. men. <laughs> it's unbelievable. He's set to sell 12 of them, right? So this is her race horses. Yeah, yeah they're her race third. horses. Right? So he's beginning to wind down his mother's racing operation yes. as oh. part of his big royal shake-up. Nathan, that was her passion. Sure. I know, but she's not there anymore. A third of the top race horses inherited by King Charles will be sold at the New Markets Tattersalls this month. And top of the list is Just Fine, the first horse to win for the new monarch. Um, also, um, she has owned 37 horses. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Before she owned, she owned 37 horses. She, she was, was right so into it, wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So passionate about yeah, it. But. Yeah. Love Affairs, the Queen's horse who won at the Goodwood only uh, two days before her death, is also up for sale. So he's like getting rid of some champions. Some, some bargains we had, Sean. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. yeah. It's pretty unbelievable, you know I mean? yeah. Um These online sales will be um, bombarded. Do you think people will pay more money because it's yes. the, royal the, horse. Queen, the royal horse? Of course. Oh, this is I mean, the you buy a royal horse and then just keep it in the back paddock. It'll be yeah. hilarious. Yeah. It's got this Queen's horse. Yeah. So Charles. Charles has 60 race horses right at present because of the Queen. Yep. Yes. And, and 38 broods, uh, brood mares brood at Sandringham yeah. um, uh, with 30 new foals expected next year. But yeah. the suggestions are he's going to wind down the whole operation. I don't think Charles likes horses. And I think it comes from people calling Camilla one for all those years. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. I honestly <laughs> don't agree like, with those There's people. only room in my life for one horse. <laughs> giddy I up, love her. <laughs> giddy up, Cammy. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's where his distaste the walls is I and I reckon that everyone has got like something you know that, that, say a loved one's got something and then you just go oh, can't, can't, can't wait to wait get rid of that when they're gone when I, mean, they're I don't gone. want you to die but I can't no. wait to get rid of that what, what is it for you do you have any my, you don't have a loved one I don't right? have a loved one <laughs> hang on what about all the meat in Brian's freezer <laughs> <laughs> no, what would no, you, there's, no, there's that whole shed full, no, Nathan. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the meat in Dad's freezer, you could go Jurassic Park on yes. that. Like, oh, like you could literally take DNA Sorry, and okay. revive an animal that was this thing 20,000 years ago because <laughs> that that's wanna, how old it is. Not that we want to kill Brian off, no, we but... What are you going to do with that meat, Nathan? Because it mate. will be yours because he won't use it. So uh, w- will you just ditch it or no, will you? No, we will have a giant barbecue. A gi- <laughs> for the we'll whole have a giant state. barbecue for the, the entire state. state. First of all, you have to defrost it all. <laughs> we'll have a giant barbecue for the entire state. Yeah. And then also I'll have a smoothie station open as well because Dad has um, five um, boxed brand new Magic Bullet blenders. Okay, great. <laughs> so, great. yeah, yeah. Do you have anything that Megan has that you're just like itching to get rid of? I well, suppose can- oh. candles and Cushions, I'm guessing. Oh my god, yes. Um, that would go, Nat, pretty quickly. Yep. Um, look, I like greenery and stuff, but I'd get rid of most of the pot plants. Oh, definitely. so yeah, she's I'll, I'll come around and she's take them crazy with the pot plants, yeah, isn't yeah, she? Right but she also looks it. after them really well, so yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, re-pots, you'd be able to replant straight down to the Melville market. Aren't she <laughs> glad though she doesn't? You know, there's people that, and I feel so sorry for anyone that has one in their life, but those people that have those crystal figurine, um, oh yeah, obsessions, like, yeah, like crystal owls. Or like something, oh, yeah. and then they put them in like a in, in like a glass cabinet. Anything with a glass cabinet that's got random like all the yeah. same crap in there, that must be. Oh God, you just want no, the house to get broken into and that to be well, taken. I mean, <laughs> if I ever get a loved one, that they'll be itching to get rid of my gin collection, which is going to be great fun. Yeah, but then again, but it takes I mean, up a then, lot of room. And also, um, the more gin you, gin you drink, the more pleasurable you are to be around. <laughs> that's true. So I think they'll that's just true. Do, that, that's why I drink it myself, so that I can put up with myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Nathan, Nat and Sean. So King Charles, um, now that his um, dearly beloved mother has passed away, yeah. getting rid of all of her horses, um, <laughs> bit, by pit, bit, bit by bit, dismantling yeah. the stables. Yeah, he's done. Right. He's done. They're thinking in a few years on um, the stables and they said it'll be very sad if this is the case, will be a um, museum sort of thing. Yeah, right. The, the, As the a tribute to the oh, be nice breeding program. I mean, he's not interested in the ra- in races. Care. So like, oh, thank God not. they're you know, out. As yeah. king, he's like, no, yep. see you later. And you know what? Whether it be your mother or, or, or your partner or a loved one, you, you, there's something that everyone's itching to get rid of that they own. Isn't there, Ali? Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, Hi Ali. Ali. What are we itching to get rid of? Uh, Mum has over 300 bells. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does she live in the bell tower? What's happening? What's going we on? We used to joke that she was going to be buried with them in the casket and now she wants to be cremated. We're going to give them to everyone at the wake to smash like the Greeks do with the plates. Uh, okay. <laughs> so tell bells. me about her bells. Uh, they've been... She's been collecting them for over oh, 30 years. Everyone that goes away to a country yes. on a holiday brings it her back a bell. bell. I mean, it's an easy gift for oh, her am, am I thinking of most of them are the, the ceramic bells? Yeah, like a hand yeah. bell. Yeah, yeah. A Holland yeah, yeah, yeah the hand bell. Yeah, yeah. she has some crisp, nice crystal ones, I guess. But, oh, yeah, nice. most of them are, are the, yeah, the little tourist bells that you get. Yes. <laughs> Ellie, are they God. everywhere around the house? She's got a, in the dining area, there's a massive big uh, shelf unit and they're all on there. Oh, <laughs> Ali. I, I, sorry, wait, Ali. It, it's like a really long shelf unit that just, and it's just it is. Bell. It's full of bells. bells. Ceiling bell. to floor, full of bells, lots bell, of shelves. Bell, bell, Oh, you can't wait to get rid of those bells, can you, Ali? <laughs> no, none of us really can't wait to get rid Does of them. I mean, you might keep one good one, right, to remember yeah, her by? maybe one. Hey, Ali, yeah. have you ever bought her one of these bells? Yes, I probably have bought her. Um, <laughs> well, quite a few of them. You know yeah, she's going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> you're part of the problem. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Ali. You know what? I'm sorry. These people I don't get, like the Bell people, mm. but it's so great to have one in your life because whenever their birthday comes it's up, you know so exactly easy. what to get. Exactly. Them. You don't have to think. It's a no-brainer. It's easy. It's a uh, um, thanks, Ali. <laughs> Bronte, hello. Hi, how's it going? Good, oh, Bronte. Bronte. What are we eating to get rid of? Uh, my grandfather is a bird breeder and he actually has thousands of them and he's in his late 70s. Um, what sort of birds? Yeah, what kind of birds? All kinds. So budgies. So he's got maca- like macaws. Oh, macaws. macaws. What? They live forever too. So has like, he just yeah. got like a um, heaps of aviaries at the back? He's at, yeah, he's got like uh, acres in Mandra mm-hmm. and um, he's had a couple of heart attacks recently and he just yeah refuses to get rid of them. He's got babies. He actually left my wedding. Early because he had to feed the baby bird. Oh, <laughs> and Bronte. here he is, like chewing up your wedding cake and spitting it into their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bronte, and that's my that's my mum and dad's house. Exactly the same. Oh, really? Yeah, but he, he's he's so old and yeah has has had a ha- couple of heart attacks yeah. in the last year and walks down there and has to feed them and oh. just they're the priority and we're like, come on, we've got to yeah. start, you know, 
downsizing and not, yeah. won't have a bar of it. Can I just say, though, out of anything that somebody owns, it's the easiest to get rid of birds. Yeah, you just, just leave let the, gate the cage open, open and, just, <laughs> and just go, yeah, shoot, that's a, shoot. Yeah, Nature yeah. take its course. Doesn't work with the homing pigeons, though. Everything okay. else Yeah, good. that's right. Homing pigeons, yeah, they, they'll come back. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, does he have a prized to... bird, Bronte? Uh, he's had a few over over the time, but yeah, it's probably the macaws. Yeah, they're yeah. expensive. They're expensive, and they live a really long time. Yeah, they do. Mm, mm, yeah, yep. I'm holding out for um, you know, when he starts downsizing, and I can say, "Can I have one of them?" Yeah, and then just <laughs> the, sell the it. Pretty one. Yeah. And you're going to sell it or keep it? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll probably sell it. You're gonna, sell it you're yeah. gonna, so you want you want you want to start flogging? I was yes. gonna say flogging your granddad's birds, but it sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not right. Probably a better way we could check yeah, it. Yeah, check that out the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Nathan, Nat, and Sean in podcast form. We're discussing the really important topic of um, are you itching to get rid of a loved one stuff? Yeah, <laughs> just king like the, the king is getting rid of Lizzie's uh, horses. He is done, See and she had a heap of them. Yep. Hi, Oxen. Tony. Hi, good morning. How are you? Whose stuff are we talking about, Tony? Uh, My nans. Um, Nans, I think nans are horrendous for collecting things, but (laughs) mine loves to collect lamps. Uh, Lamps? Lamps, lamps, lamps. Lights with lamps. lamps. (laughs) Uh, They're beautiful if you have a theme of lamps, but when you have old retro 70s style brown and orange lamps, Mm. uh, blue lamps, white modern lamps. Oh, (laughs) they're all like, so it's the full spectrum of lamps. Yeah, there's they're, they're tall ones, short ones, Dutch like absolutely lamps. horrible. Lamps and through the, the ages. Thing? Yeah. E- exactly. <laughs> the worst thing is she won't even turn them on because she's too scared of the power bill. Oh. So they're just, they're just there for decoration. Oh. I mean, she I sold a couple of lamps. She could pay happy. for it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She, yeah, I think. I think she has about two hundred lamps. Two hundred lamps. Like, so, so give me your room. So, so give me that. Say that the, the, the living room, room. The yeah. living room. So how? Um, go explain. So, that. so uh, for her birthday, it was only just recently. I got her a white modern, you know, the tripod, new modern lamp. Yes. Uh, which she'd shoved in the corner because she's got all the yellow brown, horrible ones right at the front. Yes. But. It, it, like, it's it just absolutely horrible. It's like walking through, well, I love op shops, but it's literally like walking through an op shop in so a house. how it's, many lamps would be in the, in the lounge room, do you reckon, as an example? Uh, 40, maybe. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm so are there, are there she, like table lamps like on every surface? Uh, yeah, every surface. So on the tables, on the bookshelves, on the buffet, on the kitchen <gasps> bench. The, I love uh, this. Next, Next, I, I would literally have to take a picture and upload it. You, yes, you please. Don't even Tiny, yes, please, 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 please get her permission you, and take a photograph. It is so funny, but she loves her lamps. Does she have a lava? Does she have a lava lamp, Tony? I don't know if she actually has a lava oh, lamp. Oh, Christmas oh, gift! Really that many lamps and not one lava <laughs> lamp. Yeah, not one lava lamp. That's yeah, that'd be something we have to get her. But it's so funny because we all have different styles. So yes. I love like the new modern stuff. My other family like um, beach theme. Yeah. Got other friends that like the retro theme. So every time we buy one, none of us match. So her house is like, uh, oh my God. it's like walking into the eighties. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. like going through a yeah a retro license yeah. store. Yeah, yeah. like mm. like yeah. going back in time. It's like, like walking through. Um, yeah, back in time. You know what? You should send her on it's a holiday to, to Beacon Lighting. Or <laughs> right. I, I think. Or down to I think. <laughs> it's like walking through Beacon. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Oh, please send us a photo Thanks, of that, Tony. Tony. That sounds extraordinary. Oh. Um, and to finish off, Kirsty, hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, Kirsty. 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 Whose stuff are you itching to get rid of? My mum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is it? Um, so, my mum has a. Twilight cabinet in our house, or a glass cabinet that's full of Twilight merchandise. Oh, no, you've got no oh, Kirsty. Oh. But she's a, I take it she's a grown woman, right, Kirsty? How old's yes, your mum? Is. Sorry? How old is your mum? In her 50s. Kirsty. Kirsty. Okay, tell me everything. So, what have we got so in there? She has um, some Twilight socks, some Eclipse mints, um, even some makeup in there. Um, there's makeup. even dental floss as well. Yes. Do I like dental floss? <laughs> so, I know, dental floss. And the funniest thing is her friend actually went to Forks where Twilight yes. was made. Yes. And her friend sold some um, sand off the beach, but oh. it got taken off her in costume. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 o
That's funny. <laughs> Where Bella would hang out with the werewolves. Oh. Um, okay, okay. This is an obvious question. Is she Team Jacob or, or Team Edward? What was she? She was Team Edward. She was yeah, Team I mean, Edward. You can tell, so she's a classic. You? She's a classic. Yeah, in the day, who did we have come in from Twilight that time? We had Boo Boo Stevens or whatever his name is. <laughs> Boo Boo Stewart. Taylor Boo Boo Stewart. Lautner. Um, oh, Taylor uh, Lautner. Yeah. 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 Do we have Taylor come yeah. in? Yeah. Taylor yeah. Lautner came yeah. in. No. Yeah. Pretty sure it was too, he did. wasn't it? He saw, did he do an no. autograph? And we had a picture yeah, of no, 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 that's Boo Boo Stewart. Okay. Boo-Boo. He was one of the werewolves. Yeah, Taylor Lautner never nah, came in. Mm. No, no, Taylor Lautner didn't come in. I can guarantee you. It was Boo Boo Stewart. <laughs> 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 and he was one of the young wa- wa- werewolves. That sister, um, you, you, you watched um, Twilight, didn't you, Kirsty? Yeah, I did. Well, she okay, didn't so, have so, so Boo Boo Stewart was the young werewolf that left with Jacob and then was with his sister when they peeled away from all the werewolves. That's... Oh, okay, yeah. That's yep. Boo Boo's true. We have his autograph if your mum wants it. Oh, I'm sure she would love it. <laughs> we do. Should we give that to her mum? Yeah. Should sure, why not? It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amy's really go, always looking go, to declutter We're going to go office. find yeah. it and we'll get, we will give your mum the Boo Boo Stewart autograph. From Twilight. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. No yeah, worries. And you know what I love is you're complaining about all the crap yeah. we're adding to it. No. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Kirsty's like, yeah, you can send me anything you like. I'm getting rid of it all. <laughs> Thanks, Kirsty. Ross, hello. Hello. Oh, it's not Ross. Ross. <laughs> I was just I looked in there and there was Ruby. And I was like, <laughs> oh no, I didn't do the wrong, did the wrong Ross. Hello. 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 That's hello. 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 Sorry. Hello. Sorry. Hey hello. guys, how's the form of Kathy Fitz, Mum? What? Yeah, you're not she's doing. God, I bring home artwork. Beautiful artwork in year eight, pottery class. I made a big octopus of kind of lampy yes. um, clay thing. Mm. Made the yearbook, first of all. Oh, so that sounds really pretty good. Nice. As soon as I move out, mum throws it out in the garden. She throws it out in well, the garden. Well, she puts it in the garden. I just, I just it messaged her. No <gasps> longer gone. exists. It's gone. <laughs> she couldn't wait. How couldn't wait. I know. Are you okay? Once you're out of the house, it's gone. I'll be all right. I mean, to be it fair, did. it survived the house burning down. <laughs> it did. It's because I think it was outside then. Too. <laughs> Clearly. It was, uh, it's, it'll be in the yearbook forever. Oh, 2006, yeah, John 23rd College yeah. yearbook. Oh, if anyone Everybody has that still yearbook, talks about yeah. it. send us a photo Go of on, the ceramic octopus. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. You would have seen this yesterday. Netball Australia have got a meeting with their players coming up very shortly because they need to see if they can come to an agreement over the... Uh, the sponsorship mm-hmm. of Gina Reinhart with yes. the Diamonds. Yep. So Gina's kicked in fifteen million, Fifth, and, and to be fair, years. Netball Australia were in all sorts. They all really sorts lost now. a heap of money over COVID. They sold they no off money. the grand final to WA last year, even though eventually yep. it would have been held here anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 15, so they got the money. Fifteen million dollars is nothing to Gina. No, it's oh, nothing yeah, to yes. Gina, but it's everything to the sport, isn't it? particularly yeah. when they're on but, their knees. But the the players weren't consulted about it. They're the ones that have got to wear the uniform mm. and they're, they're, they object to Well, the, it's a couple of players now yes, and then everyone yes. just goes, if you if you are for it, then we will support your yes, yes. Um, thought. I, I, I just think it's a bit over the top. Well, I've seen a lot of the players. Of the players, uh, yes, one hundred percent. What are the objections over the mining? Um, yeah, and the, and the treatment with, of the Hancock uh, yes. family of Indigenous people. Yes, but yeah. but yeah, but which relates back to, to the eighties. To Lang, 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 Lang Hancock, Hancock apparently yeah. said some really ordinary oh, stuff, no. and it stands up to oh, this yeah. point in time. Yeah. It's horrendous, it's right? horrendous. Yes. So, but if you take that from the eighties, and we're now twenty twenty two, there's a lot of people back in that era had. Um, yes. Race, religion, Yes. Uh, On top of that, it's also Gina has been very outspoken saying that climate change isn't a result of human activity. So she's been very sort of frank about that in, in that space. And so and they're saying, well, that's that's a little questionable as well. Yeah. That's, okay. that's the other objection it's, to it's, it. It's very um, – I do get what you're saying. Yeah. And if people have renounced their uh, former belief of something, you know, does it, is it really relevant now? I get all that sort of stuff. But it's um, it must be very hard um, – to be in a scenario like this when uh, you've got to work with a client or yes, where the money's coming from and you need the money and yeah, it and must I, be I a think hard that I think the lack of consultation is is I think it, that's it, it what definitely it is. could it's have the helped communication. Yes, yes, and it's a little bit like the um, when the manly players weren't consulted about having to wear the pride jersey and they objected to sure they objected to it on on religious grounds, but it was the lack of consultation of the players when they're the ones that have to front up and wear yeah. it. Yeah, but those players are still the players who have got superannuation. That's probably inside money being used. In genius oh, companies, yeah, sure. Right? So, I mean, so you can put up a stink about everything, yeah. and you can actually go down to every single. I mean, uh, any sponsor, a big time sponsor, but they, you know, they go with mainstream yes. sports. Th- this is a company, and G- Gina Reinhart um, 
who's put puts money into the swimming? No one yes, cares. Yes, she about, does. Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah. You know, yeah. we love winning gold medals, but yep. no one no one cares about. Yeah. And all those other minority sports. Yeah. Not yeah. for the money to come yeah. back. Yeah. But Sean, we come from a generation. A we come from a generation where, um, like our childhood basketball teams were sponsored by Winful Blue. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and no one better than No, but I no. think that's completely different. And I get no, what you're saying. Yeah, no, we, 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 come, yeah, we yeah. come from a generation where it just was what it was. Yeah. But where are you going to get your sponsorship? People are more socially from. aware now. Yeah. yeah. But where are you going to? If you're standing oh, up to mining, out. where are you going to get your money from? I yeah. mean, there's only so many cake stores you can do. hundred percent. I, I think it's over the yeah, top. Yeah, but but uh, what, do you understand what I'm saying about the lack of consultation with the players? That that perhaps yeah, but that, does the players need to be con- oh, yeah, okay. Well, I clearly, they do because but do they need that's to be one of the things we're upset. In, in every other sport, right? Every other sport, we're going to sit down the player group, CUB, Carlton Draft. Yep. We we need to see everyone's opinion on that. I hate drinking, domestic <laughs> violence. You know, alcoholism. you're actually raising a lot of good points of why CUB should be a sponsor. <laughs> Hello, CUB. I used to be with them for years. So good morning. CUB, so you yeah, can't yeah. have anything. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because then we go to the, then we go yeah. to the next one, and then but, the next but one. Maybe that the is one. the way it needs to be now. Yeah. And especially, oh, I think like, that, I mean, like that's netball, ridiculous. you're talking about seven players on the court, uh, uh, you know, rather than squads of forty at football clubs and that kind of thing. So, you know, then the numbers. But they are. She's only sponsoring the Australian team or the federation as a whole. Uh, it's not the the, it's not the, the money su- is to go to the elite performance yeah. area. Not coaching, not any of that so stuff. It's the, it's to the, the players to be yeah. able to hey, then Sean, filter through mm. to the juniors. Back when you were playing, yes, sir. would there ever have been consultation about this with the players? No. So maybe what it is is that everything has changed so much yeah. now that you, it's probably a little bit unrecognisable to what your memories yeah. are of the game because it is we're living in a way, whether it be right or wrong, yeah. we're living in a more woke culture where people are, dis, you know, like like even in normal workplaces, if you're unhappy, you can speak to your boss and then they'll tell you what what, what do you need from me and yeah. I want to engage you. It's sort of just it's just where the world is going. Yeah, but I just don't, that doesn't mean it's always right for a minority of people. No. No, no, yeah, no, but it also doesn't do mean that. that the way yeah. it's been is right either. No, no, I'm not saying so, that because we've come a long know, way since 1982. Yeah. And again, have. superannuation, yeah. these people who have got their money, superannuation, <laughs> their money is in these companies that they have a problem with. They don't yeah. think about yeah, it that way. Well, some people choose to uh, invest their super yeah, in Yeah, it's, it's a complete yeah. minority yeah. in that. It's yeah. just but but really there, weird. we are pro- evolving as a society and maybe maybe – you know, more teams should ask these questions, and and I think it is people are photographed so much these days that it's the it's the name on the chest of these girls. Do you know what I mean? Like it is they are yeah, they are wearing your foot it. down for one thing and not and not acknowledging oh, look, every other one. It's the one same argument the against I mean, the live golf today. tournament is that you know the money that that is paying for that. The origins are questionable. There are there are questions around that. Now you might be able to look at that and reconcile it. Say I'm okay with that. Some of the girls playing netball might be okay with it as well. Like that. Well, it why is, don't they it, just stand aside? Oh, I'm I'm, I'm well, happy to play with it. Maybe that's where we're headed. Um, maybe that is where we're headed. All I know is um, if I get you for Secret Santa this year, I know what to get you, <laughs> and that is a go woke go broke shirt. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that's, and you that's will that's wear where it. We're heading, mate. You it's will crazy. wear it with pride. I just think that <laughs> society is evolving and maybe this is one of the things that will change. But ultimately, and I think that I think that Gina, her money will be accepted and they will t- continue to play under that name. But I think what will happen is that the players will be brought on board around that so that they will actually be consulted because yeah, they're the ones look, that are wearing their okay, uniform. Okay, now, I, I, uh, I agree at times. And that will need the money. There's stuff, no doubt about geez, it. People jump up the down over things left, right and centre. And if you're going to do I mean, one, you've got to do the rest but, of but them. But that's how we, that's how societies change and evolve when yeah, people jump annoying? up and down about. Isn't it annoying? Oh, you just so want it to annoying. be the way it always was no, and no, nothing not gets better. No, not at all, better. but that's just getting, you know. Remember, so a, a change has to happen for a reason. There's a catalyst for change. Remember Mars bars used to cost 60 cents? <laughs> Remember that? Think about that, everyone. It's a great example, Nathan. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. You can complain about living in Australia quite a lot, can't you? Like, yeah, you a are. lot of people do these days. Everything's know, so we expensive. Always do. Oh, yeah. we, do. Wow. we all do. I mean, if you're on yeah, the yeah. east coast, it's underwater. It's underwater over what? here. It's like you know, it gets too hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're always talking about uh, like electricity prices or gas prices yes, over true. in the UK, as we see. It's like yeah, it, yeah. it's half we your got wage. No, we got nothing it's to half complain your wage about. Wage a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got nothing to complain about, Sean. Except police and military officers have swooped down on a Moscow business centre this weekend mm-hmm. unannounced. They were looking for men to fight in the Ukraine. Ooh. They seized nearly everyone they saw. They're taking people off the streets. Musicians that were rehearsing. A courier was there delivering a parcel. A man um, uh, in his 50s who was drunk 
with a walking disability. They took him. Far out. They are collecting men off the streets to go and fight in the war from Ukraine, and you cannot say no. Yeah, I saw this um, a little while ago. So um, they're at that thing where they're yeah. at a point where they're, they're thinking they're conscripting if, if we, people in yep. because they if we have need the numbers, the continual power. numbers, yep. Yep. then we're going to be able to get over the line. So men in mass have gone in hiding. Yes, um, they're literally hiding in people's basements yep. and yep. stuff, and not even poking to hop their the heads up. Yeah. out. To be able, because like, otherwise they're going to get nabbed and yeah. and sent away, and it seems like they don't have any um, like, skills. Well, any skills or, or well, you, can, you can't deny being a part of it, no. So, so they'll take anyone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They'll they're take anyone. People there was into, a drunk yes. man that couldn't walk properly. Yeah. They took him. Yeah. yeah. It's unbelievable. So now, how's this? Russia is now holding fast track mass weddings for men that are mobilised to fight in the Ukraine, and they're doing it uh, so the uh, so the uh, uh, soldiers' wives um, will be secured compensation yes. in case they die on the front line. So they'll get a pension if need yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. Is I know this that, that's not horrific, unbelievable. Isn't it? We I, get off pretty lightly. So yeah. we're thinking about, and I do really feel so sorry for what the Ukraine's going through. But the people of Russia that have not signed up for this... And also they don't understand because their their local media is not explaining the situation. They're not seeing what's actually happening no. in the Ukraine because the local media aren't, aren't, aren't allowed to show it. And so they're being literally dragged off the streets to go and fight dragged a war that they the actually streets. don't know anything about. No, so there's two, so there's two sides to that. They uh, they think that there'd be a lot of people think that yeah we're doing the right thing. Yes, we're, we're, we're defending protecting ourselves. The Ukrainians yep. that want to be part of Russia is what 100%. they're being told. Yeah, but there'd be a good proportion as we've probably seen on the news of yes. people who um, who, who do not want to be a situation. part of it. But if you speak out, I mean, yes. you're gone, Nath. You're That's straight right. to jail. You can't stick oh, your yeah. head you up never at come all. Home. No. Yeah. Imagine on the way home today, Sean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get you nabbed. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Because you, you stopped to, uh, in a drive through <laughs> <laughs> That's where they'd wait too. That's where they'd know we're going to find out. That's where yeah. they'd wait for you. <laughs> you <laughs> said you were having rice paper rolls. We got him. <laughs> we got him the Hungry Jack's drive through got to again. Got him again. It's a big net. Drags you away. You're going to McWall. <laughs> You're going to McWall. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Straight into cricket to uh, oh. um, kick things off. And Aaron Finch, I mean, he is just a saviour of Australian cricket team. Hit 79 last night. Sean, ever since you've called for his head, have you noticed how he hits, a lot better? He hits also? one good innings yeah. in six or seven. Uh, is that good enough? No. I know. No. But I feel the same way about Glenn Maxwell. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Like, he's yeah, so good I when he's do. on, but when he's but so often he's not. It's like yep. you... You run that risk of him failing to every now and then have him, like, hit 100. Look, it's yeah. not the most interesting sport. The least you could do when you're playing it is score. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree with that. A lot of people are bagging out the Australian team because they've lost their last four or something, four in a row. But I mean, it, it's it's warm-up games. They're playing players all over the place. Like yeah. Mitch Marsh opened yesterday and he's yes. not going to stay there. Other guys are It's very much a pre-season match that you can't put a lot of stock in. Well, yeah. you don't want to give the opposition don't too much look. either. Keep powder dry. Yeah, oh. yeah. So we'll wait and see how that turns out. Um, last night, um, Sam Kerr. West Aussie came third in the world's best soccer player in the women's side she's of things. So Wait, third in she? women's. Yeah, I thought she was the best in women's. Oh, she's the best. Well, most we marketable. Say, we, uh, we we say because she's Australian, so we put her in that like, thing. But the girls who beat her are uh, like but, but she's talking that. unbelievable stuff but, here. But she made like the cover of that video game, and her girls never yeah, been on she the did cover. FIFA, of the, like, yeah. like, she's done yeah. so many historical things, and she's been the face of it for yeah. for you know. Yep. I think that's because she's it. had such a consistent career over yeah, a long time wow. as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so she came third. Um, uh, Benzema was the name of the guy who won it. He's from Real Madrid. He had a massive year on the men's side of things, yep. which normally it was always uh, um, oh, Ronaldo. Sure. God, I can't believe it. that was the sticking point, who's cleaning up all the, all the time. And um, he absolutely dominated those awards. Moving over to football just quickly, and Ross Lyon mm. uh, is back at the helm. At, he's going to be back at the helm at St Kilda. It's I can't see anyone it? else uh, getting that gig. In, in fact, yesterday they were talking about him or trying to talk to him about how he saw the position. I just had a, a meeting inside then, so it's a big step, isn't it? Have they offered you the job, Ross? I would, no, we just had an initial discussion. And have you got, it's fair to say you've got initial interest? Yeah, otherwise it wouldn't come and meet, you know. But look, it's a delicate time, you know, for everybody. So it's not easy coaching an AFL club. I love, the thing I love about Ross is how he's so dismissive of every question that anybody asks him. And my favourite thing and the way he he walked right into our hearts is the first time we spoke to him and then Mm. he goes, hi, Sean. And then we went, hi, Ross. And then he goes, oh, Nathan and Nat, is it? (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> yes, Ross. Yes. <laughs> that was my favourite thing I know, ever. he's so funny. Like the driest sense of humour I think yeah. I've ever encountered. Yeah, he's a super funny guy. Um, when you work for him, he's not super funny all the time yeah. because he is taking it to people mm. with a stick. It's amazing that he's still so in your face to the media like that, though, considering he has been working in the media. Like you thought, I thought that that might have softened him towards the media, but like to go, yeah, otherwise I wouldn't come to the meeting, would I? Like it's just, I, know, I know. They have to he, ask he these like questions. Those, he doesn't like those questions. No, he doesn't. It, it seems like he's home and host for this job. Mm. He's got all the backing of the former St Kilda champions who are right behind him to take this club. Would anyone else want it? Because they've got a pretty sh- shoddy list, haven't they? Uh, it's an old list now, yeah, actually. They yeah. haven't done a lot of refurbishment along yeah. the journey, so, which is going to cost them. Will they be coming with a killer offer for Ross to get him on board? God, Nath. Or, I don't think they where, have where, to. Where would he be at the moment? I would think in AFL coaching t- um, circles, it, it's over half a million dollars to coach a team, okay. but there'd be a lot of incentives, yes. I, I think, built into built it. Built into that, yeah. And he's capable of turning that team around to make the finals no- next year. Yep. I've got no doubt about that. And taking the next step after that, I also don't have any doubt about it. The people who are working for him, because he burns you, because yeah. he's he's really going hard when he's yeah, coaching right. an AFL So he team. burns you out. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So yeah. we'll see how that plays out. And the last thing was Jesse Wagstaff getting suspended oh, by no. um, I can't the, um, for in the NBL. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he set a screen in the game. That wasn't even called Friday a foul night. at the time. No, yeah. and, I, and I see why. And you can see it in slow motion. It was a bit of a... A little of a bend it's, or but, a, but, a duck into his which shoulder. Which is what anybody would do if you're bracing of for course, the impact. Of course, if you're yeah. bracing for him. But I was watching. I was like, well, that, that's he didn't lift his elbow. What he didn't, like, go and clothesline the guy. No, or, no. He didn't. And it's like unfortunate that. that that guy was concussed, but it wasn't Jesse's fault. So this is the case of where the outcome Yeah, is determining determines. the, the offence. Yeah, yeah and right. I don't think that should be the case. No, of course Because we are not. playing a contact sport in most cases, and if that happens, that happens. Sometimes and you just got to wear it. We all remember when Josh Childress elbowed Jesse in the head. Like in a deliberate act, elbowed yep. him in the in the head, and he got the same penalty. So this guy like, on the other end of that, that screen that wasn't. Like, he was concussed. He was concussed. He was, yeah, but like yeah. like bad, 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 bad. Well, or, he took no further oh, part he, in, he the didn't play in the game. So yeah, that's, that's a, you know a concussion. Like, they don't like it oh, in any put sport. Your, so put, oh, put your head in the normal spot. <laughs> don't put your head in Jesse's shoulder. <laughs> they have he's quite short that guy, he and that's short. kind of part. Well, then part should of the don't problem. play basketball. Then. That's right. It's a tall <laughs> man right, sport. It'd be like one of those rides at the amusement park. You have to be this right, this side, this side of play. But quite short. I mean, he's probably about Sean's height. Yeah, absolutely. By basketball team, he's got till tomorrow to be able to take that. Holy. You got to We're taking that to the highest court in the yeah, land. That's outrageous. Time. This is Nathan, Matt, and Sean. Oh. All right. Big Kahuna's in the house. <laughs> dance, dance, Daddy. <laughs> Mark McGowan, how are you, Al? Good morning. Drop it like a top. Daddy in the house. Drop it like a top for us. I don't cool. think. Well, I have no idea what you just said, but I um, I don't think I'm a big Kahuna. Well, well, there's, yeah. there's no but one you more told me you have state. big kahunas. <laughs> <laughs> you were willing to show me. You kept sending in the pictures. <laughs> oh, I think there's bigger kahunas around than me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk yourself down. <laughs> How are you, Mark? How are you going? I'm good. I'm good. Great He's, to be here with you this morning. He saw. He did some physical labour over mm. the weekend. Oh, oh did you? A bit of yard work, Yeah, hey? yard work, all that sort of stuff. What, what, uh, what happened to happen in the yard? I had to mow and I had to dig out some stuff and I had to move some stuff. Dig up some what? Like, yeah, dig up some plants and stuff that was, you know, old over winter. You know, spring, you got to get yeah, it all Yeah, you got to mulch good. the gardens and do all the um, uh, That was what I was doing. I did all that. Did, did all that. Do, I took two trips to Bunnings. You did? Sunday. Yeah, two trips. Really? Got lots what of happens, stuff. What happens at the Rockingham Bunnings when you walk in? What happens? What uh, are they like? Oh, do you have people with you when you go there? No. No? I just go and get my stuff. And then walk out. Yeah, right. Yeah, walk out. Walk Do you in, find yourself out. even? I pay. I don't know. Like all of us, when we go to Bunnings, you, you go can take for three, your dog. Three things at Bunnings, you walk out with ten. Did that happen yeah. to that, you on the weekend? It does. Yeah, yeah every it's, time. It's addictive. Mm. But you can take your dog. I didn't take my dog. What uh, What did you buy at Bunnings? Uh, I bought soil improver. I bought fertilizer. Uh, <laughs> a bit of I bought some bone. lights. Uh, bought some lights. Yeah, you fairy know, lights. Got a, you know, no, no fairy, no, no lights. Oh, it's nothing um, like glo- dust globes. and brush. Yeah, globes. Yeah. Globes. Yeah. I have not. I've been at my place for over four years now. Once, not once as a globe blown. Mm. So what's happening? You, you sit in darkness all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 that's we don't want to see. What about turning a light on? Just me. I know where I am. Any retic fittings? Got a lot of candles. Any retic fittings? No. Be the guy for yeah, me. yeah, no, that's impossible. I hate doing a retic. 
I, I hate it. There's a couple of places I lob into, and they set because sometimes you get the sprinklers that have a certain setting. So I just mm. get them to do that because I can't. I can't. Do oh, it oh God! And then oh. I just have to screw it on. That's done. Perfect. That's why I, when I go and buy a tie, um, if I'm yes. I, you I, get I get them to tie. tie it around my neck and then I take it off and then that's how it stays forever. Forever. I don't know how to Doesn't tie it. Doesn't matter how much soup you spill on it or anything. It never gets dry clean. <laughs> no, how many ties do you own? Oh, I've got a few, but they're all done up. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. How many do you own? I don't reckon you'd be a tie guy. I'm not a tie guy. No, he can't move no. his neck move when his he neck. wears a tie. It's like so, he's got a bolt in his neck. So, yeah, he literally. Like, <laughs> I would have thought you'd have about two. If I've got a tie on and ready, so I'm t- I'm talking to Sean, right? Yeah. If I've got a tie on, call, call my name Mark. Say Nathan, Mark. Nathan. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the robot. They I just do the robot. He can't turn his head. My, my entire waist. He does look like a robot. And I can't move my neck. It's really quite funny. I'm like the Batman suit when you can't, like, you know, you can't yeah. move his neck. It's yeah. quite sinister. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, no, I got, uh, I don't know, probably 30 something. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 40. Well, I don't know, I've never counted. Are they yeah, are yeah. they all red? Like do you No, no, I got a mix. No, I got a whole mix. On. I mean, in all the all the billboards of you, you're always wearing a red tie. Am I? I don't know. I don't, it's I don't the Labour colour, isn't it? Yeah, isn't that yeah, what you're doing? Yeah, but I don't worry about that. Blue. Do you have like a just fun tie? I have a blue one. I have, yeah. Yeah, I have, I have, you know, I have uh, pink ones. Do you have, or, a, do you have a fun one, like a, like a Marvin the Martian one? Or No, I had to get a new tie when the Queen died. And what did oh, that say? What, black. What, what was it? Oh, you didn't, you didn't, didn't have a black tie. tie. I said everyone, well, just long black tie. No, I didn't have one. Yeah, uh, everyone. I mean, it was really hard to get one because everyone was buying the black ties for that <laughs> couple of weeks. It's a hot it was, market. It was a I'm market. sorry, it was really hard to get a black tie. <laughs> 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 it was. Yes, the market. The market the, yeah, honestly, you had to hunt around to get that black tie because <laughs> <laughs> everyone was wearing them. I went I to that big thing in Canberra, Jack one, but yeah. uh, and you know there was black ties, long black ties. I don't yes. mean bow ties. Yes, long yes. black ties as far as the eye could see. Yeah, there you it go. It was really hard. The, the market was. <laughs> been flooded with it. Town. It, was, it was very, it was. Gee, really it would have been a good one. time to jack the prices. Yeah, it was. It was all, yeah. Everyone's yeah. coming for yeah. it. Black tie futures that week. <laughs> yeah. 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 Future yeah. trading. Yeah. Hey, I um, saw so you were pretty excited about your um your little uh, train station to the airport. The it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Airport, yeah. Hey? yeah. I have a question. <laughs> Natalie's been waiting to speak to No, you. I do. Oh, okay. And I, I think I, I know either. the long term answer, but at the moment, I only ever fly Qantas, and so if I wanted to catch a train to the st- to the airport, I'd have to get off at Redcliffe Station, and then either walk for about twenty minutes with my bags, or lug my bags onto a bus that may or may not be waiting at the time the train is- arrives. Yeah, so you can't build the station the train line to every terminal. Mm. Uh, but the longer term plan, in fact, it was originally for 2025, was for the Qantas terminal to move to T1. Yeah, so, so when is that going to happen? Well, that was scheduled for 2025. Yes. But then but COVID you're saying happened. was. Well, yes. well, COVID <laughs> happened and Qantas lost a lot of money and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Oh, well, no, so, they just advertised a massive profit. Well, well yeah. over that time, so we're yes. working with them to get them yeah. there as soon as we yeah. can. But then again, but around 2025 is when you've got your baggage. <laughs> 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 they might have located it by then, so that'll be all right. So, Mark, the current <laughs> position now, because I was at the airport just the other day, and um, yeah, like Nelly said, it's quite a walk. Yes, uh, I mean, if, you, if you're flying yeah. out of the other terminal, it's fine because yeah. it's right there. Yeah, that's that it. does make sense. But like it the is international where yes. we normally would yeah. go and, with Virgin and Virgin. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's but it's close to that. Qantas is due to go to the international terminal at some point in the future. As I said, it was originally scheduled for 2025, uh, but we'll work with them to get them there as soon as we can. And yes. the other thing is for FIFOs that might well, they're they're probably the most likely locals that are going to use it because they're regular users of the airport, but it's not. Early well, enough the for car them. Park. It's not early enough. Well, for it's them. not twenty four hours, but you got to no. remember, there's a period in the early morning they do all maintenance and work on the tracks and yeah. testing and all that sort but of. But for stuff. the people that are most likely to use that airport, a well, airport, covers, airport train it covers ninety percent of the time that FIFOs are flying out. It's just there's a sh- there's a window early in the morning. But as I said, there's maintenance and all this sort of stuff that has to happen on mm. buys yeah. in those hours. So. In the meantime, can we um, put in a contract for Nathan Nat and Sean's rickshaws and we'll be able to <laughs> yes. just pedal Little pedalos. Little pedalos. Back and forth. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Would you yeah, allow we'll work on that. Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll get a team of people. What is oh. the city? Oh, there's the city of Belmont that we have to get that through? Who, who's the city around there? Be, it'd Bel- be, Bel- well, that's the airport's yeah. federal, yeah. isn't it? It's on federal land. Yeah, that's yes. right. It's mm. excluded from. So who do we have to? Okay. Uh, is that you that says prime minister? Raise it with oh. him. Yeah, okay, we'll get him. <laughs> in. You better get him in. Here. Bloody elbow. <laughs> get him in here. While, while we've got you about serious issues, how are you going with the nurses? They'll come and left, right, and centre. 
for uh, for the pay increase, which I think everyone in the public goes, yeah, we, you know, they've done it harder. We've got a enough, massive whatever. surplus. Yeah. Just pay the nurses some more. Come we on. are going to pay them more. We want to give them a $3,000 bonus and a 3% pay increase and a half a percent superannuation increase but 3% each year. doesn't even cover inflation, does it? Yeah, but there's a 3000 There's a temporary inflation spike. Um, so there's a three thousand dollar sign on bonus plus three and a half percent when you include superannuation per annum. Uh, plus we've agreed to uh, move to nurse to patient ratio. So that's what we put to the nurses now. You don't want to upset them because if you yeah. like do yard work and hurt yourself, all that's right. To hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good luck. I've been checking your drip. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think they'd do to me? What would they do to me? Nothing, and that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Literally nothing. I'd, like, I'd have I'd have double team security. <laughs> <laughs> in my ward if I was in hospital. Hey, Mark, just you. on this for a second. Um, you can we, be my food taster. <laughs> Mark, we had the uh, police in here the other day. Uh, they're doing a recruiting yes. campaign. And I was just thinking, so we, we, we had a look at their pay scales, um, police, and we're yes. talking about nurses now. How how hard is it to attract people to go into those industries when they're, they're pretty low paid? Especially in the first few years. So, so you're looking at if you're mm. expecting people to give up the jobs they're job. currently doing to go and work in the police force, it's not financially attractive. It's not worth it. Look, it, 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 it scales up over yes. time. And but over, like, like, you've got to get nine well, years, really, before it becomes decent. Yeah, but decent. most jobs when you start, you don't get paid what you do when you're experienced. And, but it's also a career and a life and, and, and there's, you know, lots of other benefits it's over time and those sorts of things. But um, we, we've recruited a lot of officers since we've been in office. Uh, we're recruiting 950 additional, in fact, over but they're all leaving too, as many Some as are yes, leaving yeah. because There's the economy is so strong. Rate. Yeah, that's right. Now, when, you know... That's what I'm that, saying, that because the economy is so strong... You make the adjustment. You, yeah, you have, to, you have to pay them more to keep them. Yeah, and, and we are paying more. Our pay increases are larger than Sydney, than New South Wales or Victoria. Um, and obviously our cost of living here is significantly less than those states. So we mm. are um, doing um, all we can to recruit additional police officers, but it's a very competitive labour market. We know yep. that. Yeah. Can you even, like, give them a cut of, like, what you find at raids? Um, you know, like, um, <laughs> like here you get a sneak roll. That, that's, that's, it's yeah. it's incentive-based. Oh, you, oh, you, you can get a jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> So where you're selling the gear you find on the streets, yeah. Nath? That's what, right. Is that? <laughs> the gear you find, all the gear you find on the streets. Yeah, 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 trying yeah. to sell that, back, sell that back to the streets. The Nathan, and Nat and Sean podcast. Dream team. It's just a dream. Dream team. I have a dream. Dream team. For Telethon 2022. Guess the celebrity with our dream team. So spot check and donate back to Telethon. Head to Telethon at ROC Arena October 23 and 22. Tickets through Ticketag. Okay, so with Spud Shed, we are playing Dream Team for Telethon. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. The Premier, Mark McGowan's in the house. He'll be playing this morning alongside myself. That's Ooh, right. Famously good at this Sean game, Sean. Thank you. versus the State Daddy. Um, we've got a couple of people that yeah, want to team up with you guys. We've got Brent and Maria. Brent called through first. Hi, Brent. Hello, guys. How are you going? Great, Brent. Brent. you got you got first choice, Brent. You've got Sean McManus, who traditionally... Um, Awful. Oh, I'm feeling on point today. not good. Um, <laughs> and, and Mark McGowan's been talking himself up today. You should have heard when that song was on. <laughs> he's, oh, oh, oh. oh, he's rubbed shoulders with world leaders. That's he right. reckons he can, he can name anyone in three words. Tough choice, Brent. Yeah, Tough Brent. Choice. Brent. 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 Whose team do you want to be on, Brent? Brent, do you work for the state government? Uh, no, I don't. I'll go with Sean, thanks. No. Oh! All right, That's McGowan. Brent, you're not working for the state government. <laughs> Maria, hello. Hello. Hi, Maria. Right. You've been lumbered with the Premier as your teammate. Is How that, you feel that about fine? That? I was going to pick him anyway. Yeah, yeah, well done, Maria. Clearly, yeah, you've heard Sean play this game <laughs> before. Got, yeah. I yes, don't know I if there's have. any winners here so far <laughs> picking <laughs> between the two of us. All right, we'll guys, out. it's I'm going to be pretty simple. So we're going to get um, uh, Sean. You're going to be going yep. first with your teammate Brent. Um, we're going to be putting 60 seconds on the clock. Natalie over yonder has yep. a whole lot of flashcards yep, with celebrities' names on there. What Sean has to do is look at the name of the celebrity and he has to describe that celebrity to Brent in three words. You cannot use any part of that person's name. No, that's right. And you can only use three yep. words, Sean. We're yep. going to reiterate that for you <laughs> really specifically. Sean, if you don't think you can get there, you can pass. Brent, if you don't think you're going to get it, you can pass too, okay? And you can have more than one guess no for each name as now, well. Now, okay. the amazing thing is for everyone you get right, we're going to donate $100 for Telethon. So do it for the kids. Okay, I'll be trying. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brent, are you ready? Remember, you've got to go next. So. <laughs> Brent, you ready? Yeah, no, ready yeah. to go. Great. Okay. okay. Sean and Brent, yes. your time starts now. 
Oh, uh, Tesla owner. Buff. Elon Musk. Uh. <laughs> World's best tennis. <laughs> Uh, Roger Federer. Keep going. Nadal. Keep Jokovic. going. Yep. There we go. Uh, 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 Prime Minister of Australia. That's four words. Oh, oh, <laughs> 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 Next. No, you're not getting what it. What do you mean, Prime Minister Harry of Australia? Prime Minister of Australia. Australia. Short, Harry. Uh, Wildcats' best player. Uh, Harry Kane. 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 Oh, that's <laughs> no, pass. Four words. Got me there. That was fair. One Direction, hair. Uh, Harry Styles. Yeah, yep. it's nice. Country Western, boobs. Dolly <laughs> Parton. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> uh, A-Rod's X. Uh, Time's up. Jennifer Lopez. Oh. Yeah, you got to play we'll it. Got a question in. We'll give, right. we'll give it. We'll give it. All right, we'll allow it. Prime Minister, that's one word, isn't it? You got five. Okay. What would you call it? Prime Minister of Prime Australia. Prime Minister is two words. Prime <laughs> and Minister. It's not Prime Minister. Wait, you've said it faster. Well, can I just say, <laughs> amazingly, that was five. That's yeah, $500 bank to Did you get five? Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right, okay. Mark all right, McGowan. Fred, Come on, good Maria. on you, mate. That Mark must have been a great Maria, victory. Maria, how are you going? You, you all right? <laughs> Yeah, a little bit nervous now. No, don't you be nervous, sweetheart. Okay. Um, Mark, have you... Maria, it's just telethon. It's the kids. <laughs> it's the kids. kids. So, so, and it's Mark McGowan's political reputation. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> can make me look stupid. There's a lot going on I here. Hear that a lot. All right, guys, we're going to put nah, 60 nah. seconds on the go. clock. The same go. rules apply, Mark. If you don't, you can get it passed. Uh, Maria, if you don't, you're going to get it. You can pass as well, okay? Yep, no worries. Okay. Let's put the time starts now. United States President. Oh, uh, oh my God! Pass. Pass. Joe Biden. Oh my God! Born in the. Oh, oh yes! Pass. I know the Bruce Pass. Springsteen. Oh, yes. oh, come on! Australia's best tennis. <laughs> Craziest. No, best. best. He said best. best. Pa- pass. 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 Do it. Um, little China girl. <laughs> Oh, my God. Pass. Pass. David Bowie. David Bowie. Um, uh, me, myself, Irene. Um, Jim Carrey. Oh, yeah, what a great movie. Uh, oh, I can't do that one. Pass. <laughs> Pass. No dog. Uh, married to Rove. No. <laughs> what? Well, first of all, she's not. She's not married to Ryan. Oh, no, she's married she's to Ryan. She's married to Mary Ryan. Oh, that's right. It was right. Isla Fisher. 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 The three words was an issue, wasn't it? Because <laughs> once you start. Get? How many did you get? Yeah. Two. Two. Oh, oh, true. You hate fresh. the children. That telethon helps, oh, obviously. Oh, yeah. That no. means Brent. Brent. You Maria, scored the $500 really. sponge shed <laughs> voucher. Well done. <laughs> Thank you very much, well, Brent. But what you've job, all brother. done is we've just raised another seven hundred dollars for right. telethon. Great perfect, job, everybody! Perfect. Great. Mark she's, not, she's not married to Rove. That's no, just, she's yeah, not. Yeah, you right. are rubbish. Borat. Oh. She's married to Borat. She's married to Borat. Yeah. <laughs> married to Borat. Good There's three good words, isn't there? <laughs> married, married to Borat. Borat. <laughs> You're going to be kicking yourself all day. <laughs> If you see the premiere today, play this game with him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Maria did get Bruce Springsteen from oh, Born in the... Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> she didn't the get ball. the US president. Oh, I, so I know. Bad. That's a bad reflection on Joe Biden, isn't it? <laughs> um, thank you so much for coming thank in. You, thank you, Sarah. Thank you for having me. We know you're a very busy man at the moment. <laughs> thank you for having me. Um, <laughs> so it's very you're welcome here anytime. <laughs> I got thrashed by Sean. You did. I know. That is That's a low point. That's a real low point. point. That is a real low point. These questions were easier. (laughs) (laughs) Nathan, Matt and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.